Dare to Durham. Good afternoon everyone and welcome to a new video on the channel. It is Tuesday the 10th of October 2023 and tonight I'm heading to Dunstan UTS versus Gateshead in the first round of the Durham Challenge Cup. But before we do get the show on the road, uh, the voting has now closed for the uh, Football Content Awards and uh, I would just like to say a massive thank you to everyone out there that voted for DB30 Sports TV. I really do appreciate it and... Uh, whether I'm coming away from Anfield with, with the gold, the silver, the bronze, or even just a few beers down my neck, um, like there's, this channel is just going to keep growing and growing, and uh, this is uh, just a, a step in the road above anything else. Uh, we're going to get bigger and bigger as, as years go on, more and more great stuff's going to come. But tonight, let's get into this, and let's get into the greatest cup competition in the world. So I'm just in the uh, dreaded metro centre now and uh, just, I've got quite a few hours to kill so just having a look around, uh, just stop to have a little bit of a drink uh, but anyway, uh, going into this game this evening, uh, Dunstan are currently in 4th place in the Northern Premier League East Division table and it's been quite a while since we've had an NPL side on the channel hasn't it but anyway that run is uh, coming to its end tonight. Um, Thankfully, I think that does, like I've been saying for a while, they've been needing a bit more sort of variety on the channel. And uh, lo and behold, uh, here we are. And uh, as for Gateshead, of course, we are now in sixth place in the National League table following Saturday's uh, fairly disappointing 2 0 loss against Altrincham. I mean, Altrincham did deserve it on a day in all fairness, but it was definitely a below par performance from us in the second half, especially. Um, but uh, this week, uh, maybe act as a bit of a distraction from the league actually because uh, we've got two cup competitions to contend with we've got the Durham Challenge Cup tonight and uh, the FA Cup away to uh, Stour Bridge on Saturday um, of course uh, the main priority of course will be that FA Cup game at uh, Stour Bridge uh, this competition we've always sort of used as an opportunity to uh, give some of the academy players a chance to experience senior football um, but I don't think it's going to be like it has been the last couple of times we've played in the Durham Challenge Cup where we've just used pretty much all academy players I think uh, what we're looking to do tonight is uh, give a bit of a run out to some of the some of the players in the first team squad that aren't maybe getting the amount of starts that they'd like in the league so uh, it's just I think for them more than anything it's just about giving them some minutes but I think that is also a good thing for the academy players the chance to play with professionals and look um, I think for the players that are playing tonight it's a good chance all round for them to stake a claim say look Mike I should be in, in a starting lineup in the league in the FA Cup or whatever and here's why um, so uh, looking forward to this night of course it will be a good test against a good Dunstan side, uh, of course a club that we are uh, perfectly familiar with I um, think, speaking to a lot of Gateshead fans actually, uh, there's been a lot of, a lot of them uh, have just are either reluctant or have been point blank refused to come to this game tonight, obviously uh, bearing in mind the incident that happened in pre-season, I just hope that this 
video, um, maybe restores a bit of faith for them in Dunstan as a club more than anything, because uh, unfortunately, I think the reputation's been like unnecessarily tarnished, and uh, I, I want to like like put Dunstan sort of back in a positive light amongst our fans, if if anything, because um, they are really nice club and it is a nice setup and uh like and i just think if there ever comes a time where they're playing and they've got you've got a free tuesday night or whatever, or you haven't uh, traveled to an away game like just make dunstan somewhere that you might consider going and watching that's all i'm going to say about it but anyway um that instance in the past now where that's the last time ever mentioning it and i really do mean that um but for tonight, let's just head on down to the UTS Stadium and find out how it all unfolds. So the team's warming up here, Dunstan and getting ready just here. Of course, going to be in their usual all blue this evening. And the gates are getting ready over there. The, we are going to be, I think, in our home kit. Anyway, I'll see, we'll find out when the players are coming out of the tunnel and ready to start the match. I wonder where. There he is weaving his way through the leaves. Oh, save. Go on. Oh, I'm okay. Oh, go on, lovely turn. Go on. One. Yes. <laughs> On the way. Oh. Half time, Dunstan won, Gates had won. Uh, it's been quite a good game, actually. I uh, think uh, what you can really tell in comparison to one was in the Durham Challenge Cup last season is uh, that playing with, uh, uh, even if it is just a handful of first teamers, does the academy lads an absolute world of good. Like, uh, it just helps their overall play in the, this particular match. It helps their, it'll help their, their uh, development going forward. Look, there's been some decent play from the young lads as well and I uh, think as well it is um, good that first team is the, maybe a little bit on the fringes are uh, getting some valuable minutes in, uh, Aidan uh, took his goal quite well, uh, but, uh, Billy Chadwick's uh, having quite a good game so far, Lewis Story's having quite a good game so far so uh, yeah I'd most definitely say that the positives of this night so far most, defi most definitely uh, outweigh the negatives um, but uh, as far as the game goes uh, it is there to be won by 
either team. Uh, Dunstan uh, got back into it as the half was drawn to a close. Uh, took the equaliser quite well and uh, could well have uh, gone in ahead at half time, but for them it wasn't to be. But uh, yeah, uh, 45 minutes for either of these sides to find a winner. If not, then it is going to penalties. What a hit that is. Clear that. Go on. Go on. Go on. Oh, lucky. Come on, Adam. Yes! Go on. Go on, Sean. I'm standing now. It's got to be a bit now, surely. Can't be up. Is Adam? Is he seriously having time on this game? Full-time Dunstan 2, Gateshead 5. Uh, if that's not Aidan Rutledge putting in a claim to start on Saturday, then uh, I really do not know what is. Uh, I think, as well, some of those goals in the second half were pure class, weren't they? Um, like I think um, the one from uh, Billy Chadwick, especially, where he's just, um, just sort of skimmed around a couple of the, a couple of players and uh, stuck it into the back of the net. Uh, the... Uh, the one where uh, Aiden's curled it from outside the box and it's gone in. Uh, yeah, just some really classy goals, weren't there? And I uh, think as well uh, that that overall experience for the younger lads as well tonight will do them an absolute world of good going forward. And I'll tell you what, if we um, put out at least you know, four or five first-teamers in every round of this competition, then uh, I honestly and truly think that we've got a chance of winning the whole thing um, and, if, and, uh, and the thing is um, on that note for those younger players whether their futures are with us aren't with us uh, if they can uh, say that they've got a a, a, trof a senior trophy to the name then uh, that will look brilliant on 
the series going forwards. I think um, for clubs that they do maybe eventually settle out uh, and as well uh, for their development if they if they do uh, push on into in, into our first team. So uh, the I think after that tonight uh, the opportunities that we have in this competition uh, going forward are almost endless really aren't they I mean obviously there's no guarantees that the final will be at the stadium light and so therefore having a pretty big night at a big stadium but uh, yeah um, I've got to say that was a really good performance all around tonight like uh, just just great to see um, just everyone playing with so much energy I think um, as well in these games like the players maybe do have a little bit of a point to prove in some respect, whether that be the younger lads that are wanting to push on and uh, get get the break in senior football as soon as possible, whether it be uh, first players in there on the first team that want to be starting on a more regular basis. Uh, yeah, and just there's a lot of positives that you can take from that overall tonight and uh, you've got to remember Dunstan and not a bad side whatsoever they're going very well in their league just now and uh, they had their chances throughout the course of tonight as well um, so yeah uh, I think for like, I think the uh, the scoreline doesn't actually ne- maybe necessarily reflect what a tough game that actually was so uh, so yeah uh, that experience as I said for the young lads will be uh, worth its worth worth its weight in gold um but that is that for this video and i'll be back tomorrow night with borough rangers versus heaton stannington of course borough rangers uh now playing at their new ground in middlesbrough so we're uh, looking forward to getting that ticked off and uh, re-completing northern league division one but until then take care cheers for watching see you later